the cleric. The literal life of the party. They can protect their allies in a number of ways and, when necessary, snuff out the life of others. Masters over their very essence of life, clerics can sense the broken and the corrupted. In Ashes of Creation, they are the sole healing archetype. These heavy armor wearing companions will be key to keeping your allies alive as you journey through quests, dungeons, raids, and PvP in Alpha 2. Ashes of Creation offers a unique take on classes. While the core cleric archetype will be familiar, think like traditional playwear and healer class of any fantasy RPG such as a Paladin, what truly defines the class in Ashes of Creation is the combination of the primary archetype and the secondary archetype coming together to create this unique class. This system gives players 8 potential combinations for each archetype, and for the cleric those options include the Apostle, which is a cleric tank, the High Priest, which is a cleric cleric, the oracle which is a cleric mage, the protector which is a cleric ranger, the scryer which is a cleric bard, the shadow disciple which is a cleric rogue, the shaman which is a cleric summoner, and the templar which is a cleric fighter. The primary archetype you pick upon character creation is a permanent choice. The secondary archetype unlocked through progression around level 25 will then augment your primary archetype. It changes the feel of the abilities, their looks, and how they interact with targets. However, the secondary archetype does not provide any new skills. It's all about the augments. These augments allow you to customize your playstyle, whether you want to mix in ranged attacks with healing, or lean into a more direct melee approach as a caster. Remember that everything we know about the cleric and other archetypes is still a work in progress. Ashes of Creation is in an alpha state, and everything and anything will change as they react to player feedback. Most abilities will be unlocked through the skill tree, where careful selection is key. You won't have a hundred different abilities in your spell book, Intrepid wants you to make thoughtful choices to cater to your playstyle. Skill points will be rewarded every fractional level. As skill points are awarded as you level, you'll be able to use these points to gain access to new abilities or upgrade existing ones. The skill tree was for a level cap of 25, but being an alpha, it's all subject to change. Abilities may come and go before Alpha 2's official launch if they don't fit with Intrepid's class design, and some of the ones we know may even be gone before launch. For the Cleric, these abilities include Barrier, Sacrifice 25% of your maximum health to apply that much temporary health to a target ally for 10 seconds. Bless Weapon, imbue a target's weapon with Radiant Light, granting the Blessed Weapon effect. Weapon attacks deal additional Radiant Damage and apply Bless Weapon Mana Region. Chains of Restraint, call forth a Spectral Chain in a target area that staggers enemies within or stuns enemies already under the Stagger effect, leaves behind an area that deals Radiant Damage each second over a Eight seconds. Communal Restoration restores health to all party members in range equal to 150% healing. Condemn stuns a target enemy for 3 seconds. Consecrating Waves sends forth a cone of radiance dealing radiant damage to all enemies while healing the 10 nearest allies. Defiant Light heals a target ally for 50% of the maximum health over 10 seconds. If the target receives fatal damage during this time, the effect is consumed and prevents death, healing the target for 25% of their maximum health instead. Deliverance, a held ability, charge up healing energy that heals a target ally upon release, scaling in power the longer it is charged and based on the target's missing health percentage. Divine Flare places an area heal on the ground that heals all targets within a few seconds. Total healing is split between all targets hit. Divine Infusion consumes divine power to instantly complete the remaining cast time of any healing spell currently being cast. The amount of divine power consumed is proportional to the remaining cast time. Flash Cure instantly heals a target ally. Healing Touch heals a target ally in melee range for a large amount of health. Judgment Cast a heal on a target ally for a large amount of health. If cast on an enemy, it deals radiant damage instead and applies two stacks of burning. Mend instantly launches a healing projectile towards the target ally, restoring 100% healing health upon arrival. Resplendent Beam fires a beam of healing energy toward a target ally. Charging this spell allows the beam to bounce to up to five additional friendly targets. The amount of healing will decrease for each subsequent target. 
Resurrect. Resurrects a target ally with 25% of their max health and mana. Smite. Deals instant damage to a target enemy and applies a stack of burning. Soothing Glow. Applies a healing over time effect to target ally. Reapplying this effect extends the duration by the base duration value. And Wings of Salvation. Sprout Phoenix-like wings and leap to a target ally, granting a small amount of temporary health to that target on arrival. In combat, clerics aren't just tools to keep party members alive. They'll have a good amount of offensive abilities to help them deal damage when adventuring solo or leveling up, and while these archetypes won't be balanced for a 1v1 level of combat, Intrepid still wants clerics and tanks to be viable when out leveling by yourself without needing a party to hit that max level in a reasonable amount of time. Clerics also utilize a class resource called Divine Power. Displayed as a third resource bar below mana, Divine Power is gained when casting healing and radiant damage spells. This power is used to complete healing spells instantly while using the Divine Infusion ability mentioned earlier. As someone who tends to normally pick a healer or a mage in MMOs, I'm very excited to get my hands on this archetype in Alpha 2. It looks extremely fun, even in its early Alpha state. Which, I mean, it kind of has to be as the only healer archetype in the game. There's really a lot of pressure on this archetype to be done right and become an archetype players really want to play. 